Are you a gamer? In today's how to slice, we're going to be checking out some awesome accessories to spice up your setup. So let's start. So this is a really nice model. As you can see, it's a holder for your controller. We got multiple versions for phone, Xbox One, PS, uh, PS5 and PS4. So as you can see, it's a really nice model. It's kind of a gummy uh, feel. It's a really nice holder for your controller and will look really nice on your table and your setup. So let's see the best configurations to print this model. So before we take a look at the best print settings, I recommend always to slice the model and see how it prints by default. So as you can see, it's really nice to take a look if the model needs or does not need support. This is crucial to get a good print. Um, it's really important for beginners, intermediate and professionals at printing to clearly see, take a look at the model and see to recognize if the model needs or does not need support. As you can see by slicing, it's really nice. So you can see layer by layer the model printing itself. So as you can see, it's uh, make sure to always look if the model prints on thin air out of nothing. If it prints out of nothing, mostly it's gonna need support, right? So as you can see, it builds over here, the branches, it connects, but as you can see, it never prints out of thin air. So this model does not need any support as it's optimized for printing. And as you can see, the angle over here that the branches are are gonna the the angle of the branch over here is an angle that your printer can print without support so it's closer to 50 percent 45 percent your printer can print uh perfectly fine so as you can see this model does not need any support so let's check out some nice uh, printing configurations so over here i'm in print settings right here in layers and perimeters and let's check out some layer height so layer height we can be reducing to 0 0.18 millimeters this is a really um, small model. It tries to get a good quality on your print. So by reducing the layer height, you can optimize and get a really good um, quality print. So you can be reducing to 0 0.18 to get a really fast print, but um, you can be reducing to 0 0.16 millimeters to get an extra quality. I wouldn't recommend to reduce this value too much. Don't go past uh, 0 0.15 because it's going to take a lot of time and sometimes the change is not even going to be visible. So I recommend to leave it at 0 0.16. As for perimeters, you can leave it at 3 because this is a model that needs to be robust to hold the controller. So you can leave it at 3 vertical shells. Let's go to infill. Over here in infill, we can increase to 15% to get a more robust print and fill pattern, leave it at gyroid. Gyroid is a really nice infill pattern because it prints in waves. So your printer never goes on a straight line. That's really important so the infill doesn't fail on you because sometimes there are some infills that print on a straight line and sometimes your um, printer enters a state of resonance and sometimes your prints can fail. And gyroid is a really nice infill because it gets a really robust part for your print and you can leave it at gyro. Gyro is a preferred fill pattern. As for uh, over here for brim, we do not need any brim. This is a model that has a good bad adhesion to the table. You don't have to select any brim width. As for support, you can untoggle generate support material because your printer can print this part without any support. As for speed, we're gonna be reducing the speed so we can get a good quality in the branches that are going to support your controller. So you can be reducing all of the speeds over here to 50 millimeters a second. This is going to make sure that your print, that your printer is going to print perfectly fine all those branches. 
and they won't fall off or have mistakes or anything like that so 15 millimeters a second is a good printing speed if you're using bamboo studio and you got a bamboo printer you can leave your standard printing speed that the bamboo printers offer so after that let's slice the model and see the changes so i just sliced the model and as you can see it's gonna turn out great it's gonna take 11 hours to print on your standard and ender 3v3 sc by reducing the speed to get a really good quality so the model is ready to print make sure you check all the models from this drop and we got a bunch of other models in stlflix.com so i hope you like these tips and see you later. I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from STL Flix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.